welcome, teacher. Hey guys, what's up? Thank Good you. evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Welcome. Welcome. Where are, where are you to, uh, yesterday? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I stayed here. Teacher. Uh -huh. The Wi-Fi. Oh. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, Hi, good evening. We lost connection and thank you. Thank you for, for continuing, you know, practicing, working, you know, good. I like when people help each other. Okay, so um, guys, thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and start another class. The idea is for you to learn as much as you can. Now, what was yesterday's topic before the power outage? Mm. Class because of due uh -huh. to. Okay. Because of due for, to. For. 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 Since. Since. Uh, because reason. of. The reason. The reason. For, for that reason, I think it was. For that reason. Uh, it's what the last. Uh, mm -hmm. The okay. reason why. Good. Try to give me some more examples about that. Um, let me get some volunteer. Thank you, Eneida. <laughs> give us uh, an example of something you learned yesterday. Uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, for example, with um, I remember because, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I woke up very early because I need to do exercise. I woke up very early because I needed. I need. I need uh -huh. to do exercise great in the virtual gym <laughs> <laughs> in the virtual okay all right yes yes nice it's true you have a virtual I try. gym yes mm, okay didn't know that was even possible <laughs> Good. yeah because the uh the gym is closed the park is closed in the mo oh. in this moment yeah, yeah they, I, 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 I was connecting in YouTube in the, in the, in the virtual gym. Oh, okay. I got it. Because mm -hmm. those places are closed. They would be closed. Yes, yes. closed. Nice. Close. Okay. Close. Good. Good evening, guys. Hey, what's up? Good evening. You're Good welcome. Evening. Okay, that was William, right? Yep, it's real. Welcome <laughs> and give us an example about yesterday's class. Ah, uh, really? Yes. Okay. Um, the reason, well, we're, we were talking about giving reasons, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, for example, I didn't watch TV in the morning because of the power outage. Nice. Nice. That's sort of like, choose a victim, brother. The last one. Okay. Anaida. Oh, she already did uh, it. Choose another ah, one. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> David. David. Okay, for example, since I learn English, my communication skill is better. It's better. Yeah, it's better. Good, great example. All right, so um, today we are finishing section two. Okay, now in a couple of days, or you should be around the midterm already. Because after section three, which is the one that, that we are going to start. Oh, give me a second, that's the other one is we're going to have the midterm. How are you doing with the, with the progress in the platform, guys? I'm done. Yeah, I am update. Okay, you are up to date. Como están actualizados, you are up to date. Yep, I'm up to date. Okay, great, that's fantastic. Um, remember, if you ever have a question, go ahead and write it down in the chat. In the chat, if I'm not able to to answer, then I'm pretty sure someone will. All right, so uh, let's get it ready. Let's get it ready and let's just start with the, hmm. okay, <laughs> Let, let's just start, what are you doing, boy? Let's just start with this part <laughs> of, the, of the comprehension skills. I got someone bothering me. You wanna see him? Give me a second. No. Well, you said no. Yeah, 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 at least ready. He's bothering me. 
right now. Oh, <laughs> my boy. Your kid. Your pet. His name. What's his name? His name is Ringo. It's a girl. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. He's, he's a boy. Ringo. Ringo. Uh huh. He's a boy. The name is Ringo. Teacher Ringo. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's making a mess right now. Okay. So it's after pretty, the, too. After it's pretty the, good. After the commercial, let's go ahead and watch the video, guys. Go ahead and mute your microphones and let's work on our active listening skills. Remember, I always ask you questions about these things. So, give me a second. Ooh, here it is. It's going to start eventually, you know, internet issues. How are you doing with the intro videos? Remember, you may play them as many times as you need to. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with them. Stonehenge is a mysterious ancient monument, isolated deep in the English countryside. To this day, no one has been able to determine who built Stonehenge or why. The original monument was made up of approximately 153 colossal standing stones, weighing up to 40 tons and arranged in a circular enclosure. The people who built Stonehenge must have been doing so for purposes that seemed very, very important to them at the time. It was always a literally monumental undertaking. A lot of the big stones come from Wales, so transporting those for people who didn't have the wheel has to have been an unbelievably difficult uh, undertaking. Stonehenge has been called everything from a Neolithic hospital to an alien landing site, a solar temple, to a druid shrine. The period we're dealing with here is our, our prehistory, and what defines prehistory is that we've got no written records about anything. So everything that we understand about it comes from, from archaeology, from what we can excavate, what we can analyze. In 2008, hundreds of human bones were excavated at the site primitively burned and buried. The bones were dated across a thousand years of prehistory. The first analysis of all the cremated bones that were found at Stonehenge suggests that it's mainly adult males, adult men that were buried there. So it's quite a distinctive group of people and only probably very important people came there to be buried. The cremated remains suggest that the history books may need to be rewritten. Stonehenge could have been a temple of the dead, a place where ancient people came to commune with the spirits. And the 2009 discovery of a second circle called Blue Stonehenge appears to be further evidence that Stonehenge formed part of a huge ceremonial complex. Stonehenge clearly is a place of ceremony. It's a place where people gather together. I don't think they built it and then just abandoned it. And I'm sure that elaborate ceremonies went on there. It is these rituals and ceremonies that are key to understanding of people lost to history. All right. So, this is part of our history, right? And um, I right. want to know what you think of this. I want to know, what do you think this stone age is for? Uh, do you have a theory? Is it built by people in the prehistoric or is it built by aliens? Is it made to worship, adorar? Is it made to worship gods? Is it made for aliens to land? What do you think about it? So remember, there is no wrong answer. This is just your point of view. And as a point of view, we got to be respectful with our opinion and respecting others' opinions. Okay? So we're going to have a quick chat for around three minutes. I'm going to open up the break rooms, and I want you to please participate and express what you think it happened or why, how this was built. Any question?
No. Okay. okay. So far. All right. So let's go ahead and create the break rooms and let's go ahead and share what we think about this. All right. Accept the invite, please. Lo tenemos que ver y analizar, ¿no? Ok. Así es. Ok. 
how are you doing with the intro videos? Remember, you may play them as many times as you need to. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with them. Stonehenge is a mysterious isolated deep in the English countryside. City of the Asian humans, and and uh, they have they had a, 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 a how do you say a, a, a many many uh, tools that that uh, help uh, build this kind of this kind of structure. But, uh, personally, I I don't think that aliens uh, exist. Made that place. Uh, well, uh, it exists, but uh, <laughs> but 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 this structure was made for uh, humans really, and uh, for us. Really far. Really far. All right. <laughs> uh, this is my. It's your turn. Who is the next? Uh, William. William. Uh, yeah, uh, the same as um, Arturo. I think. Would you like to add who, something? Who are the previous? Who are the previous one who who, talk, who was talking? Uh, Arturo, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Miller. <laughs> yeah or not? I don't know. Um. Uh, they are on manner. Maybe it's like that. Yes. So, well. We are what is Indonesia. the archite ar architecture of East history that you love more? Oh, creo que egipcios. I think all the pyramids and that. Uh -huh. I think. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, come on, girl, do it in English. You can do this thing. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Don't be sorry. sorry. Just speak in English. The Egyptians. Okay. Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Or I no. don't know. I think that all the Incas of Peru and all that they were great. They did a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, in my case, I I think that is very interesting the the Egypt because the the Bible um um is uh the the history for the the yes. Egypt and. Uh, Israelita. I, I think I like this topic. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we are coming back. So guys, tell me, did you have the chance to express your opinion about this not so common topic? Yeah. Yes, yeah. not common topic. Mm -hmm. And how did you feel? How do you feel talking about something that you don't normally talk about? Is it difficult? <laughs> yeah, it's a kind it's of train. Yes, it's a little it's was... difficult. It was uh, difficult weird. because the vocabulary was different because it's a topic that I didn't talk like 
and if in in Quran it takes some getting used to yeah i think we are not used to use that word mm -hmm. it exactly. was full of technicis it was full of um yes we can call it particular vocabulary and this is the beautiful thing that <laughs> now because of social media and spanish a lot of people give their opinion about any topic either they know yeah. or not about it they can talk about it uh -huh. yes. we can also do the same in english sometimes even though it's difficult i have a private class and she works as at an ngo and she asked me things about fundraising and and things that i'm not used to so before those classes i really have to get into vocabulary so i can help her right so um you gotta do the same if you ever go to a job interview or if you know a topic is going to be discussed you have to learn about that um before you start talking about it but well let's go ahead and continue guys i really hope you have liked the experience we still have more to do you ready yep yeah great let's continue here with the with the other part go ahead and read with me please lesson objective lesson, lesson, lesson objective, lesson objective. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. in this class participants will listen to a conversation about offering explanations pay attention to past models in this class, in this class, class participants will listen to a conversation, conversation. About, about explanation, explanation. Pay, attention pay attention to past models, past models. Mm -hmm. models. very good mm. so let's go ahead and cover this part of the of it here what happened? What happened? That's right. As you know, go ahead and mute your mics. Let's take a look at this video. Hi, we're ready to play the next conversation, but we want you to be ready to answer these questions. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. What time was Beth asked to come? What time is it now? What does Will decide to do? Why can't Will contact Beth? What do they decide to do? After answering all of those questions, now listen to the rest of the conversation and find out what happened to Beth. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? Oh, here comes Beth now. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had an emergency. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, kind of. It was Sally. Sally? Your dog? What happened? Well, I was just about to leave when she started acting strange. Then she just passed out. Oh my gosh. I panicked. I thought she had died at first. I had to rush her to the emergency clinic. But is she okay? Oh, I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's going to be fine. The vet said it was some kind of virus. So he gave her an injection and I had to leave her with him. I'll go by later and pick her up. Oh, but guess what? What? She's going to have puppies. Congratulations. You're going to be a grandmother. <laughs> very funny, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Very funny. <laughs> All right. So in this scenario, I wanted to please pay attention to the following. I there got her are, voicemail. So she must. There are a couple of time expressions right here. So before we answer the questions, 
I want you to please go ahead and repeat after me so we can work on the pronunciation, okay? You ready? Yes. Yes. Right, sure. sure. Yeah, I forgot all of you had the microphone, microphones off. <laughs> all right, so let's continue here. You asked Beth to be here around seven, didn't you? You asked, you asked Beth, Beth to be Beth here, here around, around, around seven, seven. didn't did you? you? Did you? Did you? Yes. What time is it now? Yes. 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 What time is it now? It's now. It's now. It's almost eight. And I wonder it's what happened. Almost. It's almost, it's almost, eight. almost eight. eight. I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. Mm, she might have forgotten the time. Why don't I mm. call her and see if she's on her way? Mm. Mm. She, she might have forgotten the time. Can I call and see if she's on her way? If she's on her way. If she's son, we're gonna link it. If she's on her way. She's on her way. She's on her way. She's on her way. What time is it when they are talking? Around seven. It's, it's almost eight. Uh huh. It's almost eight. Uh, That's right. Eight. When you use around seven, it's gonna be a couple of minutes before seven, like six fifty, six fifty-five, or a couple of minutes after seven, seven o five, seven o ten. This is seven. This is around around seven. Now, so it's almost eight. Let's go ahead and pay attention to the rest of the conversation. I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I got her voicemail. I got her voicemail. Her voicemail. She must have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. She didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Her car could have broken down, broken down or something. Could have. Mm -hmm. Could have. Could have. We're going to link it. Could have. Could have. Could have. Could have. Of course. She, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. Uh -huh. Of course. She may have simply forgotten and done something else today. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about the about it yesterday. No, she couldn't have forgotten. But just talked to her about it. About it. We should start without her. I guess we will start without her. I guess I we guess will start yeah, without, 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 her. without her. Without her. We start yeah. without her. Mm -hmm. So we are going to pay attention to a couple of statements right here that we are going to work with more details tomorrow. So this one, she might have forgotten the time. Also, she must not have turned on her cell phone. And also... Her car could have broken down or something. Her car she may have something. She may have simply forgot. All right. So I want you to please take your time. Take your time on this and um, write down these sentences, please. Write them down. It's going to take you like a minute or so. Okay, hold on, please. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Take your time, because we're going to use them. I am also going to send a screenshot to um, to WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp. Please, I do. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So we are gonna write down ten examples. No, no, no. Just write down the sentences. Don't worry about about giving examples thing. right now. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. 
Chimai. Okay. It sent. I'm going to receive it in, in a couple of seconds. Let me know when you're done writing the examples down, please. <laughs> I have finished. Okay, good. Set it from a carb. Got it. Got it. All right. Good. Um, broken, broken down. Okay, so I wanted to analyze this for a few for a few seconds. What do you think is the what do you think is the meaning of she may have she may have forgotten the time? Forget, forgot, forgotten. So we gotta keep that in mind. Next one. She must not have turned on her cell phone. Uh -huh. I, I heard that encendido. That's very important. Her car could have broken down or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that happens. She may have simply forgotten. Olvidado. Okay, good. She couldn't have forgotten. Forgotten. She couldn't have forgotten. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to think about you were waiting for someone and that someone never appeared. Because how many of you have been through that situation that you have an appointment on a date and they dump you? Because they have plantado, With my friends, they dump you. A lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> so many times. Friends. Uh, what about a, a new girl or a new boy, for example? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or if you want to buy something in, on via marketplace or OLX, and the seller never gets there or the buyer never gets there, has it ever happened to you? Yeah. Okay. No. So, no. Okay. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very lucky. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Lucky. Yeah. I. It was about to happen to me that today. I bought a hundred fifty shellfish. Conchas. Hmm. What? What? Shellfish. Why? Do you like, do you like do you shellfish? Have? No. You don't like shellfish? Like, I love them. I like to see them. Conchas. Ah, no. See, just to see. Oh. I, I, okay. I, I like. I, love I like just to see. My stomach okay. is not. Uh, I love them. They are, they are delicious. So they arrived. I don't like them. This, this didn't happen to me, but I thought. Because I, I like was waiting at uh, Torre Futura, right? And I, I was like waiting. Curiles. They are very similar. Yeah. Yep. They are very similar. Curiles. Mm -hmm. Of the Barras, Barras de Santiago. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the, so the point is, guys, that. The guy was not uh, was not getting there, and I was waiting. I waited for like five, ten minutes, and I thought she must have gotten lost because she didn't really know where I was. Uh, she must have gotten he must have gotten delayed or something. But luckily, at the end, he gave me my shellfish, and I'm gonna eat him tomorrow or Saturday. 
I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but I want you to think about that time that you were waiting for someone and either they didn't arrive or they arrived late. And I want to know what was happening through your head. ¿Qué estaba pasando en su cabeza? I wanted to try and use this structure. I'm not going to explain it because we're going to cover that tomorrow. But I want to see how you try to use it. Is it clear? Okay. Yes? Okay. Any questions about the structure, the, the instructions of what we're going to do? No. no. All right, good. So let's go ahead and practice our, our speaking skills with this. If you cannot use it entirely, don't worry about it. It will be explained tomorrow. But most likely what I wanted to do is to practice your English, the same that you were doing before with a topic that you're not used to. So go ahead and talk about it. I'm going to be sending you the, um, the invite. Okay. It's already there. Some of you are going to be switched uh, to another group, okay? Okay. When we are waiting for someone or thing, and and what happened in that moment? What in happened in your moment? Mind? When you wait for the person. Uh huh. The other person. Que si vamos a hablar de algo que estábamos esperando y no llegó y qué pasó. Mm -hmm. De o de alguien. O de alguien. Algo de alguien. Mm -hmm. Exactly. O alguien. Ok. Most, pues likely, está... most likely someone. Someone, alguien. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, for example. For, for example, teacher, uh, or is, is there so personal? Yeah, yeah, something personal. The same I was sharing. That I was waiting okay. for the guy with the with the shellfish. Okay. Um, the last the last months, I was waiting for a internet company, and the okay. the worker of the company called me and told me that he he was coming to my home. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, I am waiting for you. And he told me that he he come he will come at the four p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I am waiting. And and I'm waiting about forty five minutes, and he never he never showed up. He never and showed up. Mm -hmm. he, he never, never showed, showed up. up. And he didn't call me. And he might, uh, he, um, he could have problem. I don't know why, but I only, I, I stayed waiting for him. Okay, so you waited for him. And what yes. did you think it happened? Mm. Uh, he he car couldn't have he car could have broken. I think mm -hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. But you're trying. All right, great. That's exactly what I wanted to do to talk about our experience and try to use this structure without me explaining anything. Good. All right, continue, okay. guys. Okay. Let me go ahead and okay. check another group. Uh, a year ago, I quoted, quoted a person who never stopped coming. But and in this is moment is no... In is that no, moment? In that moment is no coming to... 
is not com come to uh, it's not come to so you were waiting for someone and that someone never showed up and never showed up okay all right good guys if you know if you identify that you can help someone on the structure like we can do well i know your name is not sandra but it says sandra right there <laughs> What's your name? I, I, Julio. Okay, Julio. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so if you know that, that, for example, Julio is trying to work on the structure and you know how to say it, let's help each other, guys. We are a team. All right? Okay. Continue. Let me check another group. I want everybody to ask questions and to, and to share. He may have simple for that. Yeah. In the case, the person should be here by now. So she may have been delayed by a traffic jam. Mm -hmm. Could be. Could be too. Or she might not have read my messages. She might have not heard or read your messages. Or read uh -huh. my messages. Read. Like read. the color. Yeah. It is very interesting because read is the same is the same writing uh-huh is the same, writing. Uh -huh. the same yeah. writing but the pronunciation changes read yep. read read yeah read mm -hmm. read read so she might not have read my messages okay good okay what else let's continue practicing yeah but another uh speculation <laughs> And this time is uh, actually actually is is difficult to uh, oh, oh, it um, is difficult to don't communicate that you uh, that you uh, that you can uh, uh, arrive in, in in the meeting or, or some meeting because uh, you have a you have a, a cell phone. Uh, uh, and and it's, it's easy to to communicate that you don't uh, going to assist or that you are not going to assist you are not going to assist mm -hmm. it's, it's easy to communicate that yes but i agree i think in the past it was a little difficult because yes. uh, cell phones weren't so popular mm -hmm. but now i think it's easier to communicate and and call the people that you are waiting for yeah yes yeah and um, I, I i think that is if, if you are responsible 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 uh, if you have a, any problem you have to communicate yeah hey, 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 sorry but i have a problem and i don't don't uh, I can I can to uh, see it, so I or I going to I, be here later. Uh huh. You can say, and I can't make it. It's like, no no puedo lograrlo, no puedo llegar. I, I can't can make, make it. I can't make, can make it. it. Mm -hmm. That's in different context, actually. Um, like for example, if you say, "Hey, is Mauricio?" I'm making up a name. Is Mauricio coming? No, man, he couldn't make it. He got stuck in traffic and he had to go back home. But if you're talking about a case where someone is in the hospital and someone is having surgery, for example, yeah. if you say that he or she, or an accident, if you say that he or she couldn't make it, it's because unfortunately mm -hmm. the person passed away, the person died. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, continue, guys. Try to help each other. Remember, if someone is having difficulties expressing something, help each other out. That's why we are a team. All right. All right, let me check another group. Doing great. Okay. Can you, come? Can you make a okay. question again? Your question. You asked to be here around seven, seven kilometers. Didn't, didn't mm -hmm. you? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm sorry for using the name. Um, somebody asked, 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 as
answer? Uh, we don't, I think we don't get the question. Can you repeat it? Okay, um, I'm gonna, uh, Elizabeth, you asked to be here around seven, didn't know you? Uh, I didn't. Ah, think. didn't you, the pronunciation. Okay. Didn't, didn't you? you. Uh -huh. Did. Those are tag questions. Didn't you? Okay. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. did, I didn't did. you? I did. You're I gonna said... answer. She make she make have forgotten the time I said. Oh <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't pay any attention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Come on, girl, pay okay, attention. Yeah, yeah. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> So now, teacher, okay, help now. us. I'm help trying us. to. Help us, please. They use my example. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a, we have been using Sulamita for all examples. <laughs> we have yeah. been? We have been using Sulamita for all examples. Oh, I yeah. Another example, please. Don't, don't <laughs> use her. Don't use her that much. Use someone else. <laughs> yeah, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can you help us, teacher, when... And alguna idea sobre about this? Oh yes. <laughs> about um, to talk. About what to talk. Remember yeah. that the idea is for you to talk about an an about a time yeah. where um? you had to wait for someone. Oh. <laughs> it is, oh, it is very common that, that you wanna buy something in OLX, OLX yeah. or marketplace on Facebook. And oh, express yes. Let's meet each other in Salvador del Mundo. That's one of the most common places or galerias. Yeah. And you are waiting and waiting. Oh my God, this person is not coming. Mm, she must, must have forgotten. Aha. Uh -huh. He must have gotten lost. Or yeah. he must have ripped me off. Me ha de haber timado. Aha. So that's how you start um, talking about it. Okay. Okay. Teacher, is is uh, the situation is a date or a friend or? or... What about you? No. Uh, okay. Somebody gonna tell. Oh, this guy never come. He, uh, somebody gonna ask. You know, like she might or other one she moves or her car got broken. No, we are four, right? We are four. Mm -hmm. But somebody gonna say. Oh, I I I order I order something from OLX, but that guy never never come. Mm -hmm. Then somebody gonna tell the another um um, um uh, say um, the answer or the um, I don't know the noun. No. Yeah. So, prácticamente lo que necesito para que no no se enchivoleis que ya casi es tiempo <laughs> is that ustedes yeah. hablen de una vez que Hicieron una, una cita, ya sea romántica, ya sea para comprar algo, y la persona se ha tardado. Entonces ustedes pueden, empiezan a pensar, ¿será que me habrá timado? O I, ¿será I que se habrá a... perdido? ¿Se habrá, ¿Será que le habrá valido? I mean, so try to talk about situations that you've been through, situaciones en las que han pasado. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. I wanna... uh, I, I have... Have... Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have bought something in Aliexpress and like three months ago and it todavía no llega, doesn't come yet. Ah, uh, and it's still, or it's, it still haven't come. Uh -huh, I think it must for the situation of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm, coronavirus. Coronavirus, uh -huh. coronavirus situation. So, Okay. <laughs> okay, the, see and see and follow. The item maybe have like out of order. Uh, no, it's in I'm coming, I think. I am I still viendo a cada rato <laughs> mm. What is coming because she may have simple forgot like llegando yeah. or coming. the 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 verb come. Um. Coming. Come. Come, conjugated. Come. Yeah. Okay. 
the uh -huh. company could, 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 could forgotten send you packets. Or you no, maybe it must be for the situation. I think she probably because it is coming be from the uh, other country. It needs to have the. In my, in, I remember this this year. I in my last birthday in January, I was invited for my best friend in uh, Plaza Paseo. Yeah. I I was waiting for my best friend for two yeah. hours. Oh my god! I, I remember that I am I am very angry because uh, I was I was I, very angry. I I was very angry because I I was waiting for two hours in the, the building in the in the in the plaza in the plaza uh, paseo. Yeah. What I, do you I think? Ask, uh, my my, what my you... friend, her name is Lauren. I think that <laughs> Lauren uh, must not have uh, forgotten. I I, I I don't know. I I, I we want... maybe have simply forgotten. Now you're talking. The oh, Lauren me have. Alrighty, guys. So now wow. you are all coming back. Let me ask you something. Was it difficult to use the structure without explanation? No. Mm. No. Not really. Okay. No. People were thinking. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta think and think. Yeah. But. This is difficult. So. Pretty much what I want for you to do uh, for tomorrow is that I want you to think of on those type of uh, scenarios. Quiero que empiecen a pensar en esos tipos de escenarios porque mañana sí vamos a ver la parte gramatical para que ustedes se puedan expresar. La idea es que ustedes puedan practicar, que a veces hay gente que dice, es que yo no tengo nadie con practicar, con quién practicar. Aquí sí tenemos gente y eso es lo que estamos haciendo. All right. So, empiecen oh, a pensar. Uh, a question. Tomorrow right. we have classes from Monday mm -hmm. until Friday. Oh, I have the same question. Monday. That's right. I was lost. Because I thought it, that it was until Thursday. Yeah. It mm -hmm. is. There is no problem. So, guys, um, you have plenty of time. You have a lot of time to think about it. I'm going to see you Monday. I got lost uh, in time. Mm -hmm. on I'm going to see you Monday. I thought we were going to have class tomorrow. Yeah, that would so be great, you know, today. but I'm... Unfortunately, unfortunately, classes are only from Monday to Thursday. Sure. So, yeah, you have a long you time. Must, Go you must have forgotten the time, teacher. Yes, nice example. I must have, I must have I forgotten the time. The, the day. track of time. <laughs> yep, that's right. Great example. Great job. Teacher, Great teacher, mm -hmm. teacher. Go ahead. Please fix my name. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra. But it's no, it's Sandra. <laughs> but there I, don't, was a name. I don't write the name. Are there you was using a name a... called Zapato. I don't know if it's yes. this group. Zapato. Are you using a laptop oh, you too. or Be before, a phone? Before yes. <laughs> before oh, or yes. Okay, it's you. All right. Julio, so, are you using a, a laptop or a phone? It's a laptop, right? Laptop. If it's a laptop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever you log in, whenever you open Zoom, you normally type the, the email okay. and the password, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Once that you do that, it gives you an option to change your name. Mm -hmm. So okay. make sure that your name is not Sandra or Zapato by Monday. <laughs> you can you can see all that shit right there. Or shoes. Oh, shoes. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, it was a pleasure. So happy today. <laughs> it was a pleasure seeing you today. Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, someone was asking me Thank if I could recommend much. a video about this. These are past models. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, go yes. ahead and, and type on YouTube, past models, enter. Teacher, we are going to we are gonna see all the past models. Uh, must have... Uh, Mike, who, May, not all, all of them. them. Not all of them. 
not all of them, uh, just a few, no, and no, then no. you can. The most important. You can change it. Uh huh. Just a oh, few, okay. so you can get the hang of it. Anyways, you can watch the video that it's coming, always in mm -hmm. on this platform. I always recommend you to watch the videos before the classes, so that way you can already come with questions. Si ustedes ven los videos antes, van a decir, pues hombre, tío, esto no lo entendí. Y ya van a venir con las, con las preguntas en mente. Ya va a ser más fácil. Ya teniendo una base, solo empezamos a atacar. We need to search a video. All right. All right, my friends. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Okay, this is teacher. On my name of is Riley. Oh, okay. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Good night, everybody. You must Thank you all for that. Thank you for all your See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. No, tomorrow, no. Tomorrow, no. Monday. Tomorrow, no. Monday. 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 Monday.